That's weird. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna be doing Frankenstein. I haven't done Frankenstein in my channel and I really wanted to recreate this greenish version of the Frankenstein. Soon in the channel I'm gonna be doing the stitches part effect type of Frankenstein, which really, really love to. So today we're gonna be recreating this effect. So let's get started. First thing first, pull out your hair and take off your ears. And then I'm gonna be adding some mastic, which is a prosthetic glue um, between my eyebrows and add a little bit of modeling wax, which I've been warmed up with my hands. Remember to work with this product, you need to have a, some hand cream or some oil on your hands to be able to work it, otherwise it will get stuck everywhere. Then I'm gonna be working out a little bit of product there and then cover my eyebrows with the same product and keep adding more um, this of, of this modeling wax. What we wanted to do is to have a very prominent eyebrows in one line and they go straight all the way until the, eye, the end of the eyes We curves a little bit down. <laughs> spatula to flat the upper part down but you can use the fingers just remember to use the cream hand on your hands and that's it now that we have that done and this um, modeling wax doesn't need anything to get hold on in I'm gonna be start applying a green color of all over my face I'm gonna be using an aqua product and ton of water so I create a very dilute kind of effect so my skin so off, I'm gonna be applying all over my face, neck and my ears. Then I'm gonna move to start with cream colors when these aqua colors are completely dry. And then I'm gonna be using a military green to start in some some of the features like the hollows of my cheeks, around my nose, the chin, um, the dark circle areas and also some lines or wrinkles on the forehead. And then I'm gonna blend, blend everything. <laughs> I'm also going to be using this kind of military green, brownish green on the bottom part of the eyebrow that I create. Also, I'm going to be using black to enhance this area very darkly. And also, going to be using this black in some of the areas to create some depth areas that has a little more like indentation or more deep effect in some of the areas. Just blend it. Well, let me give you a tip. If you want to give a very realistic um, blending or featuring effect, first blend one layer with the more kind of enthusiast way and then add another layer of color on top and blend it just a bit. And that will give a 3D effect very realistic. <laughs> darken down a little bit also the temples of my face because I wanted to make it square and highlight some of the areas with the light green just a bit not too much and the last touch is adding a little bit of green on the lid to create a balance and also adding black on my lips to create a very thin lip like very Frankenstein type of lip just half of it and the rest is gonna be green and also last touch is gonna be very important which is creating the flat um, forehead line or hairline that will create the entire makeup to come together. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and as always I'm gonna leave you right there the previous tutorial in case you missed it and right here the direct link to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of them. Right there you'll find that my social networking, you can follow me, you can search for me and follow me and also send me any kind of picture you want to send me on like recreation or what you want me to be doing on the channel, anything, you can follow me there, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, anything. And of course the list of products that I used to create this tutorial is going to be below, the bar below. As always, thanks so much for spending some time with me, be happy and see you next time. Ciao!